known previously as the GL class. For 2020 Mercedes-Benz has completely redone the Haskell's class to fit its hierarchy and lineup as the S-class of SUVs. When the GLS goes on sale late this year, it will start with the GLS 450 with a new inline six-cylinder engine with their EcBoost mild hybrid system. EcBoost is an integrated starter generator and a 48-volt onboard electrical system. The electric motor helps aid the combustion engine with acceleration, and the generator recuperates energy that can be supplied back into a battery. Furthermore, the EcBoost eliminates the need for a belt drive, which saves space and makes the engine more compact. The electric system can also serve as features such as the air conditioning compressor and the water pump. The second and more important engine is a 4.0-liter biturbo V8 with the same EcBoost technology. It makes a claimed 483 horsepower and 516 pounds to foot of torque before a boost. Both the 6 and 8 cylinder engines are paired with 9G Tronic 9 speed automatic transmissions and put power down to all four wheels. Mercedes claims the 450 can go 0 to 60 in 5.9 seconds, while the 580 can scoot from 0 to 60 in a claimed 5.2 seconds. Both are electronically limited to 130 mph top speeds. Buyers looking for more power can choose the Hash GLS 580 with the world's first electrified V8 engine with up to 483 horsepower and 516 pounds to foot of torque. Both engines come paired to a 9-speed transmission and number 4 Matic AWD is standard. While the newest version of the Mercedes-Benz GLS may not look quite as in your face as some competitors, has the interior appointments and technology. Finally, push the GLS to be the S-Class of SUVs? The interior design is an even bigger departure from the existing model than the exterior. Mercedes-Benz finally ditches the busy analog-looking vertical layout for a super-modern luxurious horizontal presentation, 